slippery. Olympian Nathan Chen. Ready? Let's go. Helps dancers slide to victory. I like that. A star may have just been born on that stage. Dancing with myself next Tuesday on NBC. My son and I had a heart defect. I want to prove anything is possible. The emotions are real. I am from the Bering Sea. To hit a buzzer is my dream and my whole community. Wow! American Ninja Warrior, Monday on NBC. Later, Jimmy Fallon welcomes Nick Jonas, NBC Tonight. People always ask me the same thing when I come to Wahlburgers. What do you get? And I always tell them I get an owl burger and some top. <laughs> To look like you could do so. Come on, join us. Welcome. Oh my god, what why? How are you so good at this? Morongo Casino Resort and Spa, home to Wahlburgers and Good Time. Go ahead. You can have my turn. Oh my, you have to see this. Come on, come on, guys. You can have this kind of summer. Guys. Or this kind of summer. This summer, the real entertainment is on the road. Don't miss out on your dream car during the BMW Summer On sales event. Receive a loyalty credit of up to $1,750 on select models now through August 1st. This is NBC4 News at 11. Now at 11, a creepy encounter caught on camera as a burglar hovers over a couple as they sleep. This video is from earlier this year and it is now part of an assault investigation involving somebody else. Good evening, I'm Robert Kavasek. And I'm Carolyn Johnson. Colleen and Chuck have the night off. Detectives from San Bernardino think there could be other victims. Here's NBC 4's Hetty Chang. When something like I get my mind stuck on something, like I have to figure it out. Rachel Sandoval says she went into detective mode after she was victimized. Something told her and her husband this intruder who crept into their home and watched them as they slept, perhaps he had done this before. It explains why he was so comfortable. This just wasn't his first time. Detectives say Anthony Andrew Cifuentes, who is now in custody, did sneak into someone else's home just a week prior to burglarizing the Sandovals in February. And according to police, DNA evidence showed he not only broke into that home, but also sexually assaulted the woman as she slept. We're showing his booking photo because police believe there may be other victims out there. Sadness, you know, for her, like... But at the same time, kind of like um, glad that he's able to get caught. Who knows how many other people he's done it to. The Sandoval say they're not only shaken, but now even more creeped out. They say after the man stole items from their bedroom, he left but then returned that same night. Their toddler son, who has medical issues, and his night nurse also sleeping nearby. I'm a little like freaked out by like the fact that he came back in the second time because to me now, it really feels like in my gut, like maybe he was going to do something to our night nurse or to my son. You know what I mean? Because why else would he come back in? The Sandovals are glad they now have their dog Roxy in the house. They're also relieved the man is now in custody, but they are speaking out because they, like police, do not believe they are the only victims. C. Fuentes is charged with rape, assault with intent to commit rape, and two counts of burglary. If convicted, he could face life in prison. Hetty Chang, NBC4 News. We're following breaking news from Canoga Park right now, where a pursuit has ended in this crash. Let's get right up to Gabe Santos, who's live in News Chopper 4. Gabe. Yeah, Carolyn Robert, you're looking at the intersection here of Alabama Avenue and Sherman Way here in Canoga Park. That black vehicle there at the center of your screen, that was going to be the vehicle that LAPD was pursuing, a possible stolen vehicle here. Uh, that vehicle came to uh, came into contact with that gold-colored SUV there in a very hard crash here in the middle of the intersection. At least one person was hurt. They were transported to a local hospital. The suspect was able to actually get out and run a short distance down the block before LAPD took that suspect into custody. Sherman Way is going to be closed for a considerable amount of time this evening while an investigation is underway. Live over Canoga Park in News Chopper 4, Gabe Santos, NBC4 News. Well, eight months ago, two models were drugged and dumped in front of two different hospitals and left to die. Now two men are charged in their deaths. NBC4's Anusha Rasta explains why investigators believe there could be more victims out there. 
It's been nearly eight months since...